Hello, welcome back to Revender in Sports. And I'm going to cover two topics. The first is a reaction to the reactions about my home studio. And then the second is uh, I wish to talk to you about Richie Road Frames, Rim Break Road Frames. So let's begin first with the reaction to my home studio. Thank you everyone who took the time to make a comment. I hope that with my setup the way it was, you were still able to listen to some of the, to the content about the UL2489 standard for e-bikes, but I do appreciate the feedback. The mannequin, it was just, my shop is full of, product and I was just trying to move the mannequin out and I thought oh well let's put a let's put a jersey on it let's brand it um it usually has uh, clothing here in the shop as well whenever I do a new kit I put it on the mannequins I've got a male and a female so I moved one home and well that didn't work out so that's okay thank you for providing that feedback microphones yes I mean I've been trying to do this on such a low budget you wouldn't know this, but I've probably got 600 videos on YouTube. This channel just doesn't make any money. So I don't want to ex um, is it, spend a lot of money on, you know, electronics and, and all this other stuff. On the other hand, the argument would be, well, if you spent more money, you might make more. Maybe. But I think I wish my content to stand for itself and not the fancy editing or lighting and things so that's what i'm hoping for and then what's interesting is that a lot of you mentioned you like the messy bike shop <laughs> and the whole thing i was trying to do was just kind of have a little bit cleaner environment uh, where you wouldn't have you know parts and stuff hanging out all over the place but i get it i mean i guess some folks like that the credibility of you know maybe if i'm doing a how-to video which by the way are the videos i hate doing the most I, I those are the videos i do not like doing i don't want to be known as just a mechanic i'm a bike rider <laughs> that's what i am and uh and i wish to make you folks better bike riders but if that's what you like about the channel keep coming i'll keep doing them because i have to work on bikes anyway so that's when i shoot the video i don't shoot the video with a um, I, I don't make a list of things that I wish to cover on this channel. I just, oh, I've got a bike to work on. Okay, let me shoot that video so that if someone else has got the same bike, same issue, they now have a solution for that. But always someone is nitpicking and, oh, you're holding the torque wrench this way or that way. And I, it's just, you get, you get less negativity on other videos. So um, that's why I generally don't like to do a lot of how-tos. As a matter of fact, if you look through the recent catalog, I've been doing very little how-to videos because they're just the least interesting in my opinion. They they have no creativity. It's just, this has to be done this way. It has to be torqued to 12 Newton meters. And so, um, in my opinion, there's not much to that. So, um, there's plenty of other YouTube channels that do very, very good job at editing and camera angles and and then uh you know condensing a video from a, a one hour job down to you know five minutes and you get everything you need all right so let's talk about item number two and that's richie rim brake bikes most of you know and uh some of you call me a dinosaur and that's okay um the retro grouch he's on standby but you know day in and day out i get either a request for a steel bike rim brake bike and or i have to hear a sad luck story of someone who crashed their carbon bike broke their carbon bike wheel or something to that effect and then I have to say to them, well, you know, would you like to try something else? Um, earlier today, I had a gentleman in my store 
we were talking about carbon bikes and my steel Richie and and I've got other steel bikes, but we're going to talk about Richie for this moment, for this video. And I showed him three carbon bikes, my personal carbon bikes, three of them that I have cracked or broken or crashed. And, you know, if it's carbon, it will break. It's just a matter of when, but it, it will it will break, it will fail, and you will have to replace it. I've got a, a, a an Evo, a Cannondale Evo Super 6. Beautiful bike. Loved that bike. Great ride. Everything about it was awesome. But I crashed it, and, you know, because it was so light, like a 700-gram frame, the um, it cracked behind the head tube. That one's done. My Boltechia disc brake bike cracked on the on the chainstay where the brake caliper mounts disc brake bike and then another Botechia uh, when the rear derailleur broke it broke the the dropout as well this is what happens these are lightweight bikes they're brittle they're made out of you know very um, thin stiff carbon fiber and it will break so while I have a Bianchi XR4 and I think I have another carbon bike as well, I generally ride my steel bikes all the time because they just ride better anyway. So if we're going to talk about Richie, I get these email requests quite often. They are sometimes on the videos themselves for the for the Richie Road Logic that I post. They are still making these frames. They as far as I know, will not be discontinuing a rim brake frame. The challenge is always going to be they just can't produce enough of them. They're a small company. They have small production uh, numbers, and they just can't produce enough of them. But even internally, they are constantly getting requests for rim brake road logics and the breakaway as well the rim brake breakaway i've got back orders i mean some of these back orders are 18 months old people want these rim brake bikes and you know under a skilled rider's hands um like the gentleman that was in here today with his uh carbon pinarello i i i mean he test rode the bikes back to back and he was like wow that rim brake bike really, really works. I'm like, yeah, of course it does. So people still want rim brake. Rim brake works extremely well, better than, than disc brake in many applications. And it's just hassle-free, less to deal with. It just, I mean, if your rotor's rubbing a little bit, you know, how long does that take? If your rim brake is rubbing a little bit, you just recenter the brake, done. I mean, literally a three second job and you're done. But um, but yes, they're still making them. There are ETAs way into deep into the summer. So, you know, I've got a list of people that um, were doing, um, that have had back orders with me. That list continues to grow, it seems, right? Every chance. Uh, that I get to follow up with someone that wants a disc brake bike. I mean, you know, rim brake army, right? So if you want a rim brake bike, um, there's very few people that are going to sell one to you because everyone else is going to tell you, no, 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 you need to ride disc brakes. They're better. But even if you, okay, so let's just say you want disc brake, get yourself a steel disc brake bike. Get yourself a road logic disc brake and then okay in your um, need for disc brake you're now going to as a bonus get a very nice riding steel brake a steel bike that can also withstand crashes and impacts and traveling you know that's why the breakaway is always going to be in the Richie lineup so you know, get in touch with me. You want to be part of the Rim Break Army. Um, hashtag Rim Break Army. Rev Rim Break Army. We, um, 
yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of the Richie product line. You've seen me uh, do unboxing on handlebars and uh, stems and seat posts and stuff like that. So, yeah, they're, they're, Richie's not going to, for the, for the foreseeable future, not going to get rid or discontinue the rim brake bikes. But the caveat, of course, is where and what group sets are you going to ride? So Shimano, you know, they're going all disc. And, um, you know, where are you going to find a mechanical group set for Shimano? Because all their 12-speed stuff, you got to hide a battery in the seat tube. So you're not going to be able to do that without modifying the frame. Because Richie doesn't have any ports for you to run wires and stuff out of so maybe you're running a SRAM force group or a SRAM red group or maybe you're running campy so that you can still do rim brake so anyway they're still making them I've got ETAs they want to talk about them so much but you know th these things are September October time frame of 2023 and then um breakaways 2024 so you just got to get on the list <laughs> i mean that's just the way it is you just got to get on the list you got to wait and they just cannot produce enough of them so that's the only reason um and you know and it just brings up one other thing i've mentioned before i'm very contrarian in nature If there is a glut of inventory, Trek, Specialized, Canyon, Canada, whoever these mainstream brands are, don't you want something a little more exclusive, something more durable and, you know, but just something more exclusive. Everyone else is riding, you know, some Specialized Tarmac something or other S-Works. I, I don't know. When, when did this thing become the only bike that anyone should own? or can own it's just another carbon bike people i know that's upsetting a couple of you <laughs> but yeah i mean don't you want to ride something different don't you want to ride something more exclusive these things sell out all the time they produce x number of frames and they have to ship them all over the world and you know the u.s distributor gets a handful of them and then they sell out and they're gone i don't know i think there's something cool about having something that no one else has that's just the way i i think anyway let me know what your thoughts are on rim brake bikes oh my god they're so old they suck disc brake bikes let me know your thoughts on steel frames let me know how many of your carbon bike carbon frames you have broken in your days i've only got three here but i've broken more than that uh i remember i remember a cervello r3 crashed handlebar came in cracked the top tube i i mean it's just carbon bikes will break they will break it's just it's just their nature okay let me know those things how many carbon bikes have you broken in the past and are you still riding them and do you continue to look for the latest latest greatest and lightest carbon bike for your riding okay thank you so much for tuning in please like and subscribe we'll see you up the road